This video is brought to you by ccgcastle.com. What's up, YouTube? Jordan here. I am finally back, and I mean back, back, not, you know, half assed back, which is um, basically what I've been doing these last few months. A lot of you guys know that I've been probably uploading only four to five times per month max, maybe for like the last three to four months. It's been a really long time. Uh, since I've had some consistent uploads, but we're finally going to be back to doing that. I promise you this time around that we are back. I think the primary issue that I was having with uh, YouTube and my personal channel is that uh, mainly, once again, like I said, I, I stopped having fun with it. I, I said that in a, f a few months back in a video. Um, so this time away has really helped me with that. I've been playing more Pokemon TCGO than ever before, and I'm just so happy and so into the game right now. It's really got me pumped up. So there's that, and I really wasn't fully satisfied uh, with the quality of content that I was bringing you guys. I felt like my quality was not not the best, and you know, I really want to give you guys good quality content. I'm not trying to upload just for the heck of it. Um, I'm trying to give you guys good stuff, good juicy stuff, so I feel like that I could provide you that now. You might have noticed I, I finally have a face cam in here, finally got the green screen working properly. It's taken like, how many years have I been on YouTube? Like four or five years and I couldn't get a proper green screen? Well, I was finally able to do it um, with the help of a few things that I, I purchased recently. So, um, I'm very happy to be bringing you some face cam for the TCGO because TCGO is pretty boring if you don't have face cam. I mean, let's be honest. You want to see facial reactions to like what's going on in the game. So it makes sense why a lot of you guys were asking for that. That's not all I'm excited about, guys, because we also have the new Pokemon TCG rotation coming out dangerously soon. Very, very excited about it. So, of course, we have to get to a lot of our post-rotation decks. Uh, we're going to start today here with Darkrai, so let's take a look at it. Really excited to show you guys my version of this deck. I have one primary difference between mine and everybody else's, in my opinion. Actually, I'd really say two. I'd really say two. The first primary difference is this Oricorio. Now, I think this thing is really, really, really good in this Darkrai deck because a lot of times you get near knockouts and oftentimes this thing can finish the job if the Pokemon that you damage uh, gets out of the active. So Oricorio, definitely a Pokemon that I love running in this deck. It's also great if you just knock a few things out. There's something small on your opponent's bench. You could oftentimes get a quick knockout with Oricorio. Or you could just trade prizes sometimes, whatever the case may be. I think it's a very important and useful card for this deck, so hopefully uh, when we go ahead and start our matches, there's a few situations uh, that I can show you where it's been very useful to me. Um, so I have that, and the other, I'd say, primary difference is this Poison Barb. I threw in one Poison Barb for Darkrai GX. Um, I noticed a lot of people are doing Salandit Salazzle, just a 1-1 one, one line of that. Um, however, I prefer the Poison Barb. Um, I know it takes away, you know, card slot one, but that one one line takes away two slots, and then you could throw in something like Oricorio, which I think, once again, is very useful. Uh, so there's that. Um, a lot of people were saying Wishful Baton versus EXP Share. I like having one Wishful and two XP Share in my deck. Um, there's been times where I feel like both could have been useful, um, but I still think EXP Share is a little bit better for this deck. And then we got Super Rod, got one of these in here, that's a must. I love the fact that I have the uh, Dragon Vault Hollow versions of these, it's pretty sick. Uh, as a max rarity guy, I, I love all this stuff. Everything else I'd say for this deck will be pretty standard, like Altar of the Moon. You gotta have Altar of the Moon in here. The ability to retreat um, for basically nothing is it, so awesome, I just can't even begin to tell you. It's so great. Uh, Sophocles, definitely a must have for this deck in my opinion. Um, just great to combo with Darkrai GX, so you can discard it, uh, use Darkrai GX's ability, Restoration, comes back from your discard on your bench, and you could slap a Darkness Energy from your discard on it as well. So you're doing that, and you're drawing four, very, very important card right there. And of course, in a deck like this, you have to run a lot of energy, uh, far more than you normally would, uh, just because Darkrai EX is the main attacker, and the premise for this deck is really to spread as much Darkness Energy around. Uh, your playing field as you possibly can for this Dark Pulse attack. There's 20 more damage for each Darkness Energy on all of your Pokemon, not just the active, so that's really the idea behind this deck. Uh, so yeah, guys, we got this Promo Belts all here, which I love, beautiful card. 
And uh, everything else is basically pretty standard. I run three Guzes, three Guzmas. Guzma is obviously such a good card <laughs> right now. It's just unbelievable. Um, and yeah, so I need one more full art of this, if anyone's willing to trade. So there's that. We got one Acerola. Uh, definitely going to see Acerola in a lot of decks now. And alright, let's see if we can find any good matches here. But yeah guys, like I said, I'm really excited for this new era once again on my channel. Once again, we're not going to have any more months with like 3 to 5 uploads. That was getting a little bit ridiculous, I know. You guys are subscribed to me for content, and that's what I'm here to provide. Um, so yeah, once again, I promise we're going to have at least, at the very least, 12, 10 to 15 uploads per month. At the very least. Um, maybe there'll be a time when we get back to daily. Uh, but I can promise you no more four to five upload months because I know that was getting out of hand Okay, so we mulligan here uh, looks like we're facing Volcanion from the deck box Once again a lot of times you could just tell from the deck box sleeves, etc what you're facing and the coin in this instance as well um, I think some people kind of like to to uh, Mix and match all that stuff. So you, you kind of leave your opponent guessing especially if they miss the typing in the beginning uh, but anyway, we're starting out with Darkrai X here. Always a good thing to start out with. Not going to obviously bench Lele because that's something we could use to grab a nice supporter there. Um, okay, so now we're going to go ahead and use the Lele. I think I'm going to want to grab an N from what I'm looking at here. Yeah, I'm going to grab an N. Uh, hopefully, yeah, yeah, that's actually really good because I mulligan too, so... Yeah, N's, N's going to be good for right now. I am going to use a Maxi Elixir. Yes, it worked out. I actually had a feeling it wasn't going to. Um, we're going to use Energy on Darkrai, EX, Experience Share onto the Lele. And now we're going to go ahead and N. And I'm pretty satisfied with this turn one. Um, obviously, this deck can be really, really quick to set up, uh, Volcanion. So, you got to set up equally as quickly here. We got another Lele, thank God, because... Tons of Pokemon here. No draw power. I'm going to put the Oricorio on the bench. I know it's a target too, but hopefully down the road once again, there'll be an instance where I could show you that it is useful. Um, we're not going to put any of the GX Darkrai's onto our bench because we could use that later, all that stuff. So, let's go ahead and end our turn there. I'm pretty satisfied with that turn one. Um, and let's see what we can do. This is a pretty good matchup, you know, no weakness or anything like that so typing wise it's pretty evenly matched pretty excited all right so he's gonna field blower experience share is definitely a card you don't want getting field blowered in this deck and now he's going to use Kiawe I believe is how you pronounce his name which is of course the card the supporter card that you're gonna see all fire decks running now um, okay so <laughs> at this point it'd be great if I had a guardy because, uh, yeah, this ho -Oh would be done, that's for sure. Um, but what we're going to do is put another Lele on the bench, and we're going to go ahead and Sycamore. And hopefully you grab an Ultra Ball. That way, I could bring one of these Dark Rise back. Hopefully we get Ultra Ball and an Energy, actually. Um, so let's go ahead and Sycamore, get these Dark Rise in the discard where they belong. No Energy, that's rough, I'm not going to lie. So that, that kind of sucks. That's not too good. <laughs> uh, we did get the Ultra Ball, but we got no energy. So, and we got no Choice Band either. Um, I do only run two. Might have to get Baton out of there and then put in three. I'm not sure. We're going to have to mess around with that. But, let's just go ahead and attack because that's all we got for right now. Um, we're doing 80 damage. Better than nothing. And actually, Lele would have been better in that situation as well. Um, but at least we will be able to knock out this Ho-Oh uh, next turn, assuming we get an energy, which we really should after a Sophocles, so. Or we could once again Lele again. Benefits to running three Lele. Um, so out comes his first Vulcanian, and there's another. One EX, one Nod. Uh, I don't really like the promo version, personally. Don't really like it too much. So he's knocking me out. Um, gonna put an energy from Darkrai EX onto my other one. And he's going to get his prizes. And I'm going to put a Tapu Lele out there. Because we have a good situation for that right now. Um, Alright, so. Part of me just wants to actually Lele again. But at the same time. 
I feel like I should get an energy from a Sophocles. So I don't really know what I want to do here. Thinking, thinking. While we while we think, let's just do that just for the shuffle. Just for the deck shuffle. Cars beeping outside. Come on, dude. This is big boy stuff. This is YouTube. <laughs> um, Alright, so... I'm going to Sophocles. I'm going to Sophocles. I want to save that, that Lele. And we got an energy, thank God. <laughs> thank God, honestly. Um, so let's put that onto Tapu Lele. Uh, not really a need to Super Rod. I guess we could Choice Band it. I mean, I don't need to. I guess we will anyway, just in case he uses N. Um, I don't want to lose the Choice Band. So, yeah, I like that move. Knocking out this Ho-Oh, which is a big time threat, obviously, so happy about that. And now he's really got nothing ready to go, nothing in play ready to go. So he's probably going to bring out this Volcanium. Yep. See, I mean, that is the dangers with, with a deck like Volcanium. If you don't go first, sometimes it's actually not the best. So he's going to rescue Stretch Rout, and I'm guessing he's going to put Ho-Oh right back in his hand. <coughs> Excuse me. And I think, I feel like he's going to Kiawe again. I feel like that's what's coming. I could be wrong. I'm not sure. Here comes the Lele. Is he grabbing the Kiawe? Is he grabbing something else for draw power? I always get curious to see what Volcanium decks are going to do. Having one myself. So he's going to end. Ouch. That definitely sucks. <laughs> I had a pretty big hand there. So hopefully we get some draw power back. He's only getting four cards at least, so I'm happy about that. Maybe he got poop. Absolute poop. He got Field Blower, that's not going to help him too much. Obviously gets rid of those two important cards for me, but... Max Elixir, what if he, what if he doesn't hit on this either? Yeah, that wasn't likely. <laughs> but uh, he's already used a Supporter, yeah, wow, he's done. Let's go. So that actually worked out very nicely for me. And I have Max Elixir right here. Um, Alright, so we got Altar of the Moon, let's use that. Very useful card. Maxi Luxer. I'm gonna put an energy onto Darkrai. I wanna check out his discard. No Pokemon in there, okay, so. Not gonna be able to use the Oricorio this time around. But uh, what could we do? I think I'm gonna get Sycamore and get a new hand. I think that's what we're gonna go with. I could also Guzma. Let's see the play met. Yeah, you know what? I'm actually going to Goose. Yeah, I'm gonna Goose. I'm gonna goose instead. I, I know I have no more draw power after this, but I want to start to eliminate this Ho-Oh again. So that's what we're gonna go for. We're gonna Guzma. And bring out Darkrai. And you know what? I'm just gonna put another energy on this Lele. Why not? Why not beef him up, right? You know, that, that's the that's the beauty of Lele. Is he, he's got a good attack and ability. Like, oh my god. If you have a good Jax attack too, that's the freaking trifecta right there. That That's Gardevoir. <laughs> That's what that is. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and Dark Pulse, and let's see what he's got. I doubt much. I right, think we're in the driver's seat right now. Going first really helped uh, this match. That's for sure. Um, his hand wasn't too good too, so he's got a Turtonator there. He's getting a new hand, um, but I think it's gonna be too little, too late for this man right here. <laughs> Especially with my Lele, all of his Pokemon require pretty high energy to attack, so. That also helps me. Damn, I forgot doing YouTube makes you this thirsty. I only have one little tiny sip in this water bottle left. Ah, very tiny sip. I wonder how the green screen is uh, eliminating that water bottle. I'll be curious to see that when I start to edit. Anyways, so he used Volcanion's attack to get two energies out. He's probably, I feel like he's going to try to Turtonator and, and Nitro Tank, but... Once again, I feel like he, he's just doing too little too late here. Um, once again, nothing in the discard. However, I think I'm still going to put the energy onto Oricorio for later. Um, that might have been a stupid choice, but whatever. Uh, we're going to go ahead and Dark Pulse now. We do get the knockout. I didn't even count, so very happy to see that it's knocking out. And wow, what a nice prize card right there. Sycamore, that's sweet. We get a whole new hand next turn. Dex is getting kind of low, but not anything to be concerned about. Deck out, I think, is almost a thing of the past at this point. Not totally, but almost. He's going to use N, and if only he knew, that's actually messing me up. 
uh, despite the fact that I am gaining a card. Got an Ultra Ball, but I'm out of Lele, so we can't grab that. He's gonna Max Elixir. <laughs> He's powering up Lele, like, dude, it, it's too late. <laughs> it's too late for that. It really is. Um, however, he's got the Nitro Tank, so he does have that on his side. And I, mm, I feel like Ori Corio on this Ho-Oh at one point might be a possibility. Nah, I doubt it. I doubt it. It's too late for me for that, too. Um, but yeah, that was a nice Nitro Tank on his part, at least. Um, okay, so what do I want to do here? Do I have energies in the discard? Because I honestly don't even know. I have one. So we are going to restore one Dark Ride GX here. And that brings us up to 160 that we're doing. So I can... Mm, I don't have my Field Blower anymore. I forgot. So we actually probably can't knock out this turret. That's unfortunate, actually. Um, we're going to go ahead and Max Elixir. And I think I'm going to put this Darkness Energy onto Tapu Lele. And then we're going to put this one on to... Ooh, 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 ooh. I want to do Lele again, but... I just feel like that's so much for one Pokemon. Like, if he Guzmas and knocks me out with something... Yeah, I'm going to put it on to Darkrai. I'm just worried about that. So, I'm going to go ahead and Dark Pulse. Would have knocked out if I had my Field Blower. Kind of sucks. Maybe we could draw it at one point and win that way? That would be crazy. Um, actually, do I still... Yeah, okay, so I have it in the deck. It got, it got put back in there from N. He's using Sycamore. And let's see what's going to happen now. He's got so many things powered up. If, if I had a Guzma and a Field Blower, I win. But uh, I don't. <laughs> so that, that's an issue. This might be a time for Oricorio. Does he have a Pokemon in there? He does. So what's his... No. No. That adds 40 HP. Damn it. <laughs> if it was only 20, I was like, oh, let's go. See, this is what I was concerned about here. Because now he's going to be able to attack with Ho-Oh as well. Well, I mean, nothing much I could do. Nothing much I could do. I'm going to put in the uh, Lele. Oh, if we just got Field Blower, it would have been beautiful. would have been beautiful. Wasn't meant to be. Damn, see, I think we're going to take the loss here, ladies and gentlemen. Really sucks. I can't believe we don't have enough draw power this turn, uh, this match. It's crazy. Uh, part of me just wants to run out Ori Corio just to uh, buy some time. I think that's what I'm actually going to do. I'm going to put Ori Corio out there. Just maybe, just maybe I could still draw something that I need. Damn, I'm disappointed. <laughs> I really thought this was going to be like a lock, this game. Um, okay. Well, I could do 30. You know what? Actually, we're not done. We're not done. Because we can get, we could actually use, I forgot Ori Corio's second attack. So, we're actually, we're good. Here we go. Ori Corio, Revelation Dance. See you later, Turt. I told you, this is Corio. <laughs> Not what I had in mind for it, but hey, it worked out. It worked out. <laughs> That's crazy. So, I mean, he could still win if he uses Guzma. Which, he probably has one in his hand. But I'm still hyped that we got an Oricorio knockout. That was pretty sick. And yeah, so there, there's the Guzma. He could also just retreat, too, if he, if he wanted to just use Ho-Oh's attack. But he's not even going to need to. There's the knockout, so I am taking the loss there, sadly. Uh, but you guys get a gist for how this deck works. Um, you know, it is tough to beat Volcanion. It's a tough deck to face. I might have made a misplay here or there, but... Uh, overall, satisfied with that match. Let's go ahead and play another one. Uh, hopefully one that we could actually win. <laughs> um, and let's see what we can do. Alright, so he's calling the flip this time around. Looks like he's running some kind of darkness deck as well. Jay Thorns up in here thorns with the O with the zero for the O we lost the flip so he's gonna go first and alright let's see what we can do same sleeves and deck box copy much copycat much <laughs> um, 
So yeah, we're gonna start with Darkrai again. That's pretty sweet. Got another Sophocles. I might actually get rid of Lily in this deck. I th I feel like maybe either another, not an N, but maybe something else would be more useful. Maybe even uh, Giovanni's scheme. I think that's what it's called. Maybe even that, because that could double as draw power and like a Kukui type thing. Or maybe I'll just even put in a Kukui. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Um, all right, so out comes a Beldum. See what we can do here, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Oof. Facing Metagross. That's weird. That's really weird. I thought it was going to be a dark type deck. Once again, Sleeve's throwing me off here. Alright, so he's getting Lele, so he'll probably get a Sycamore or an N. One or the other. This is another deck here that I'm facing that... It's kind of slow to set up, but once you do set it up, it's a beast. So we're going to want to play really quick here, that's for sure. Um, so he grabbed the Bridget. Which, I guess that's a good move. That's always a good move, turn one. Especially if he does have something in his hand uh, to draw cards later. So that's never a bad play. Oh, he's got the Necrozma in there. I like it. I like it. I feel like that is a good addition to a Metagross deck. I like that. <laughs> Um, so let's go ahead and put an energy on Darkrai. Once again, part of me just wants to Sycamore. Uh, that's that's the problem with Sycamore. Sometimes you just get too tempted to do that instead of uh, you know a Lily or something. Like Lily was that's not even gonna help me here. So yeah, I think I'm gonna actually get rid of Lily in this deck. Um, all right, so we got another Darkrai here. Hit Sophocles next turn. Um, but yeah, that's really all we can do. No no Max Elixirs. Surprisingly. 14 cards in, not a single one. That means we'll get them later. Uh, but yeah, Sophocles will be nice next turn. He's obviously going to start working on getting these Metagross out. But uh, hopefully we can knock out two Beldum beforehand because you really need like two Metagross in play for that deck to work. At least two. Obviously three is even more ideal, but two you definitely need. Um, so there's the Ultra Ball for another Mitang. That makes me think he's got that Sycamore in his hand there. Either that or N. Oh wow, I guess not. Works for me. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and choice ban this Darkrai X. Energize him. And then we're gonna Sophocles. I actually wanna hold on to this Field Blower. I think it might uh, be useful later. I think we already have, yeah, we got more than enough energy in there for Darkrai GX. Got our four cards. And let's go ahead and restore this Darkrai GX. Okay, next up, next up, next up. Kind of want to put Wishful Baton on you in case he ends. Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to put a Wishful Baton on Darkrai GX. And then we're just going to go ahead and attack at the knockout. Um, so yeah, hopefully we could actually knock out, like I said, one of those other Matang, eliminating another threat. I was just checking out his weakness and resistance real quick. I was curious. All right, so I'd say we're doing pretty good. Uh, Sapu Lele coming out because yeah, he knows he doesn't want one of these Matang getting knocked out. I feel like he kind of messed up in the beginning using that Bridget. That's why I was a little confused. I was like, unless he's got draw power in his hand with that, I don't know why you wouldn't just, you know, grab some draw power. Doesn't really make much sense. So I'm going to go ahead and max Elixir. It works out. Sweet. Put you on Darkrai EX. I'll put an energy on Darkrai GX. And then could Sycamore Ultra Ball. Yeah, you know what? I actually want to do that. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. And I'm actually going to grab that Oricorio again. Bench him. And let's go ahead and Sycamore. And grab a new hand here. I like it. I like it. Um, I'm not going to bench Eveltal just yet. But uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and Dark Pulse. Are we knocking out? Ah, nah. One more energy would have been the knockout. Oh, well. Close enough. <laughs> Close enough. So, yeah, he's obviously once again just trying to buy time because, oh wow, Max Potion, but he's going to get knocked down next turn regardless. 
I'm sure he's aware of that. And now he ends. I feel like... Why do I feel like he had that card? Nah, he probably just had the max potion. Because he obviously would have used it. Um, you're not playing to lose, of course. So, alright. He's uh, <laughs> powering up his Batang. Choice Band. And that's it. So he's got no Metagross still yet. That's crazy. So I'm going to put an energy on another Darkrai EX. That's all powered up, ready to go. I'm going to max Elixir. Failed that time. That's all right. Alter of the Moon. And now we're going to knock out Dark Pulse. Very nice. We got our two prizes. Uno, dos. Another Alter of the Moon in case he gets rid of that one. And a Sycamore. I'll take it. I'm pretty happy with that. So now I can actually also Ultra Ball, get a Darkrai GX, Sycamore, and then bring that Darkrai GX back. It's another option right now. He's going to Heavy Ball. Alright, so he is going to knock out this Darkrai EX. So we do have a match still here, folks, uh, against this Metagross deck. Still got a game. Geotech System. Um, so yeah, he's doing exactly 180, right? So 150. Yeah. So exactly 180. It's going to Skyla. Let's get Ultra Ball. I guess he's going to get another, another Metagross there. Always nice because then you can just retreat, use the ability twice. Um, so what do I think I'm going to try to knock him out with? Mm -hmm. Not too sure yet. Not too sure yet. Uh, how many Pokemon is in this discard? Four. Okay, that's a decent amount. That might be useful for later for Oricorio once again. So he's getting that knockout. Kind of wish I had Wishful Baton on him, but oh well. I'm going to put out Darkrai GX, because we do have a Wishful Baton on that. Might be able to get us a knockout later on. Um, you know what? I actually think I am going to do that play that I mentioned earlier, which is Ultra Ball for another GX, and then Sycamore that. I think that's a nice play. So we're going to do that. New hand. There's the Poison Barb. Also, kind of would have been nice to do that. Maybe I should have actually Field Blowered. But, oh well. Too late now. I'm going to use Restoration. And I'm going to put the Poison Barb onto Darkrai. Alright, now, I'm just going to go ahead and attack. Well, pow, 130. So, yeah, he's obviously going to be retreating. Um, if he doesn't have another choice band, I won't be getting knocked out, so that's very useful. Very helpful. Um, I could grab a Guzma with Lele, so that's probably what I'm going to go ahead and do next turn. Um, I think that's the main problem with Metagross right now. It's too easy to just Guzma the Metagross that's, that's damaged, um, which is why you definitely obviously need a lot of Max Potion in that deck. It's kind of the, it's, it's the, really the kind of deck where... You have to have the perfect cards in your hand and stuff. I feel like it's just a little too risky of a deck, personally, right now, Metagross. I know a lot of people are probably going to want to run it with how hot Gardevoir is, but I feel like it's just a little risky. And he's not even going to do any damage to me this turn, okay. I can just end anyway, so I can get rid of all those cards that he's getting with Algorithm GX. So probably not the best play on his part. Um, however, I'm probably not going to do that regardless, just because he didn't max Potion. So I'm going to grab the Guzma, but yeah, I don't know, I just, I feel like that was a bad move on his part. Um, whatever, I'll take it. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and grab that Goose. Well, pow, let's get the full art version. <laughs> Gotta get the full art version. Gotta make yourself look cooler, right? Um, let's go ahead and put the Darkness Energy onto Oricorio. And now we're going to Guzma. And once we knock this thing out, Oricorio is pretty dangerous, actually. Um, I don't even know how many is going to be in his discard at that point. So let's go ahead and Dark Pulse and get our knockout. Now we only need one more prize. And we're definitely in the driver's seat this time around. There's another Goose. Uh, so that's one, two, three, plus four, so seven. We could do 70 with Oricorio right now to something. Pretty interesting. So I might even Goose hit his uh, Necrozma, and then finish with Oricorio. Ooh, he just put a Beldum on the bench, so it, I could actually just knock that out. Finally. We got a nice instance where Oricorio 
uh, is useful. Let's go. We could actually end the game right here and right now with Oricoria. See, he should not have benched that Beldum. Uh, like, that made no sense. I mean, I, yeah, no, he, he really shouldn't have done that. I know he kind of had to. But, I mean, this is exactly why you might want to run a Pokemon Ranger in a Metagross GX deck as well. Because now he's done. He lost. I mean, unless he's getting rid of my Oricorio, it's over. Unless he's uh, going to Guzma, which I... Yeah, he's obviously not doing. I win, guys. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. I'm really super. See, this is what I'm talking about. It, it's really good for a finisher sometimes, Oricorio. Kind of like the same way I feel like uh, Salazzle GX is a great finisher in a in a Volcanion deck. An underrated finisher in that deck. I feel like Oricorio... I mean, check this out, man. There was threats. I, I had a chance I could have lost this. Well, let's go. We're going to use Supernatural Dance. We're knocking out this Beldum for the win. This is awesome. But this is also why... um. The Cartana or Cortana, I don't even know the name of that Pokemon. That GX is going to be deadly. Just to grab a prize from from its, uh, its what's we call it, its GX attack, that's going to be insane. But uh, anyways, I'm really glad you guys got to see that because that situation and other situations have been occurring where that Oricorio was very useful. So uh, yeah, I'm glad we could finish the video off on that note. Um, yeah, I'm really excited once again to be making content again, guys. I love you all so much. Stay tuned for the next video. Um, I'm going to probably do more videos with Darkrai just because I love this Pokemon and I love this deck. It's so fun to play. Uh, but yeah, stay tuned for more. Love you all. Peace.